This painting depicts a colorful outdoor scene of a busy cafe on a starry night. But did you know that there might be more to it than meets the eye? Some scholars have suggested that this painting contains a hidden reference to one of the most famous scenes in Western art and Christianity, The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. Is this true? And so, why did Van Gogh do it? Let's find out. Before we dive into the mystery though, let's take a closer look at the painting itself. Café Terence at Night is an oil painting on canvas, measuring 80.7 by 65.3 centimeters. It is currently in the collection of the Kroller Muller Museum in Otterlo, Netherlands. Van Gogh painted it in mid-September 1888 when he was living in Arles, a small town in the south of France. He was attracted by the warm climate, the bright colors, and the scenery of the region. He wanted to create a community of artists there and asked his friend and fellow painter Paul to come with him, but we all know how that turned out. The relationship became bitter and ended with Van Gogh's notorious ear-cutting incident in December of 1888. Van Gogh was fascinated by the effects of artificial light on the night landscape. He wrote to his sister, I enormously enjoy painting on the spot at night. In the past, they used to draw and paint the picture from the drawing in the daytime, but I find that it suits me to paint the thing straight away. He set up his easel at the corner of the Palace du Forum at the square in the center of Arles and captured the site of a local cafe lit by gas lamps. The cafe was owned by a man named Joseph and his wife Marie, who also rented a room to Van Gogh. The cafe still exists today and is now named Café Van Gogh in honor of the artist and his timeless piece of art. The painting shows a lively scene of people drinking and chattering at the outdoor tables of the cafe. The yellow light to the lamp contrasts with the dark blue sky studded with stars. He painted starry backgrounds for the first time in his painting. He continued to use the stars in the skies in Starry Night over the Rhone, which he painted in the same month, and the most famous The Starry Night a year later. He also used a starlit background in another portrait of his. It is also interesting to note that the perspective of this artwork is kind of tilted and distorted, creating a sense of movement and depth in the painting. The colors are vibrant and expressive, reflecting Van Gogh's emotional state and vision. He used thick brushstrokes and impasto technique to create texture and dimension. He also experimented with complementary colors such as yellow and purple, green and red, blue and orange to create contrast and harmony. The painting is not signed, but Van Gogh described it in three letters to his brother, sister, and his friend. He was also very proud of his work and considered it one of his best paintings. He wrote to his brother, I believe an impressionist painter ought not to paint only things that are there or he imagines. He should also paint things that are not there or that he does not imagine. Well, what are these things that are not there or that he does not imagine? This is where the mystery begins. Some scholars have noticed that there are some striking similarities between Café Terence at night and The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci painted between 1495 and 1498 in Milan, Italy. The Last Supper is one of the most famous paintings in Western art and Christianity. It depicts the moment when Jesus announces that one of his 12 disciples will betray him. It also is considered a masterpiece of perspective, composition, and symbolism. Here are some similarities that have been pointed out in the two paintings. First of all, the number of people sitting at the tables of the cafe, plus one waiter standing near the entrance, not taking into account that the people walking on the street is 12. This corresponds to the number of apostles plus Jesus in the Last Supper. Secondly, it is interesting to note that in both of the paintings, there is a central figure. The waiter standing near the entrance in Cafe Terence at night wears a white coat, has long black hair, and even a beard. He is positioned in the center of the painting, just like Jesus in the Last Supper. It is also important to take into view the presence of the light in the painting. The waiter is illuminated by a bright yellow light that comes from the cafe. This creates a halo effect around his head, similar to the light that surrounds Jesus' head in The Last Supper. Furthermore, there is a shadow that we can see in the painting that seems to be leaving or entering the cafe on the right side end of the painting. The shadow could be representing Judas, the betrayer, who is also depicted in the shadows in The Last Supper. 
And lastly, we have another significant symbol in both of the paintings, the cross. In Cafe Terence at night, the bars of the window above the waiter appear to be making a kind of cross. This could also be representing the crucifixion of Jesus. Those similarities are too many to be coincidental, according to some scholars. They argue that Van Gogh's deliberately painted Café at Terence at night as a homage or a parody of The Last Supper. But why would he do that? What was his intention in the message by doing so? Well, we can't know for sure, but there are different interpretations and theories about this. Some suggest that Van Gogh was expressing his religious feelings and beliefs throughout his paintings. Van Gogh was raised in a protestant family and had a strong interest in religion. He even wanted to become a pastor and worked as a missionary in Belgium for a while. He also struggled with his faith and had doubts and conflicts with the church. He was also influenced by various religious movements and philosophies such as Calvinism, Methodism, Catholicism, Buddhism, and Pathanism. He wrote to Theo, I am not an atheist. I am not an infidel. I believe in God as much as anyone else does. Some scholars think that Van Gogh identified with Jesus and saw himself as a misunderstood and persecuted artist who sacrificed his life for his art. They pointed out that Van Gogh painted Café Terence at night, shortly before his mental breakdown and self-mutilation. It is also important to note that Van Gogh used yellow as the dominant color in his paintings, which was his favorite color and symbolized happiness, hope, and love for him. They interpret this as Van Gogh's attempt to create a positive and optimistic image of his life and destiny. In another letter to his brother, Van Gogh wrote on the 29th of September, 1888, That doesn't stop me having a tremendous need for, shall I say the word, for religion. So I go outside at night to paint the stars, and I always dream a painting like that with a group of lively figures of the pals. But there are some views contradictory to these as well. Several scholars also think that Van Gogh is mocking or criticizing the church and its doctrines through the painting. They pointed out that Van Gogh painted Café Terence at night shortly after he read Into the Joy of Living and was a harsh critique of religion and society. They consider Van Gogh's excessive use of the color yellow as an indication of betrayal, madness, and sickness in his time. They interpret this as Van Gogh's attempt to create a negative and ironic ironic image of the church and its followers. There is no definitive answer to this mystery, as Van Gogh never explained his painting or its meaning. It is possible that he had multiple motives and messages or none at all. It is also possible that he was unaware of the similarities between his painting and The Last Supper. He may have simply considered them insignificant. Perhaps he was just inspired by the beauty and the atmosphere of the night scene and painted it with his own style and vision. This mystery remains unsolved as Van Gogh never revealed his paintings or its meanings. He might have had a different or no intentions and messages at all. He might have also been unaware of the resemblance between his painting and The Last Supper. He may have just been moved by the beauty and the mood of the night scene and painted it with his own style and vision. But regardless of the true intention behind the creation of this painting, it is a great masterpiece that showcases Van Gogh's talent and vision. It is a painting that has been reverbed and adored to this day by art lovers and critics alike. Click on any of the two videos on the screen right now for more content.